Hello, this is the ShapeKeys Extended 1.0 release video. I'm here to kind of explain what the add-on is and then give an example and show off some of the features it has as well. So ShapeKeys Extended is a full overhaul of the ShapeKey panel um, in Blender. It's basically meant to replace it fully. It will have pretty much all the same functionality as the default one, but rearranged UI, updated UI, update some of the functionality of the buttons as well as added many more features as well. And I'll be continuing to add more features as I develop this. So the first thing you'll notice is the um, hierarchy here. Uh, we have everything as these little, um, we have these arrows and you can show and hide different groups of shape keys. Uh, this is just really nice for organization's sake and you can hide things that you don't care about at the moment. So if I wanna add a new face shape, I can just go down to eyes and then add right here. So you notice the add button actually added a shape key below the current one I had selected. Normally in the de default uh, shape key panel, it'll add it to the very bottom, which is very annoying. And then you have to click at the up arrow a bunch. So yeah, anytime you add a shape key, it will always add below the current one you have selected. Uh, remove just removes as normal. Um, if we have a blink here, for example, instead of just adding a new one below it, uh, if we want to modify it, we can, or like, setting it to full strength and then doing like add from mix or whatever, we can just hit copy and now we have a copy and that just works as well. Uh, another cool thing is we have this double blink here. Uh, say we want to split this into a left and right blink like I have done here. Uh, an easy way to do that now is just to go down and then do copy and split to shape key. And now we have our right and we have our left. It just cuts down the middle and separates out the shape key into their own separate ones, as well as keeps the original. So that's another very useful feature. Uh, we also have the same up and down arrows as the default Blender has, um, except now it also uh, brings out and in of the kind of indentation hierarchy system. So it's all fully compatible in there as well, which is nice. Um, what else do we have? We have can show the indexes of each uh, or index of each shape key, all the indices together, which is a nice kind of debugging tool sometimes to have. Um, what else do we have? We have all the mirroring buttons. We have this add all and remove all indents. It just removes all indents from the current um, shape. So here, if I want to remove all of these from the folder, instead of going through each one with the arrow, um, I can just go here and do subtract. And same thing, I can just do all add, which is also useful. Um, we have a set basis. So this will basically apply any of the current shape keys as the basis. So here for the ah, uh, if I was always want her mouth to be ah, uh, if you just set this as a basis, normally all the other shape keys would still have their uh, current shape relative to that. Now you can just do this set as basis and then everything after that will have the current um, ah uh, as the basis, which is again, very useful. So here, now we have the reverted. If I unrevert it, everything works still with it. So very nice. Uh, I rearranged some of this UI down here. I made the value bar thicker and kind of more prominent because that's the one you're using a lot. I kind of compacted some of this other th stuff here because you don't use that as much. Uh, I have some extra tools down here. I have removed shape key influence. Uh, this one is pretty self-explanatory, but if I go to like I open, for example, here, uh, say I wanted, you know, this side to not have that anymore, or I'm working and I just want to remove some of the effect I did on the shape key. Well, now you can just do remove from selected. Uh, if I undo the mirror, uh, then it'll just remove any, any of my selection. It'll currently just remove from that current blend shape, which is useful. You can also just remove everything from it if you just want to reset the blend shape. Uh, another thing I have here is uh, add face tracking blend shapes, uh, empty ones. It doesn't generate face tracking, but what it does do is generate all of the names and the shapes and puts them to a, a group for you. So here, if I want to add AR kit blend shapes, I can just click on add blend shapes. And then at the bottom of my list here, you see we'll add all of them to, to it. And I can just collapse that. And there I have all my AR kit and I can just work on, you know, adding those in. Um, I'm working on some more features right now. And there are, there are some other small things I didn't cover, but that's, you know, the gist of it. And I hope if you're interested, you'll give it a try. Um, I use this every day, so I want to make it as convenient and as useful as possible. So thank you for checking out. If you do, uh, tell me if you have any questions, uh, give me feedback, tell me if you have any issues with it or bugs or ideas and yeah, enjoy.